The PIX Insight community has developed various tools that we can use to stretch and adjust the contrast of our images. One of these tools is Masked Stretch, which is in the Intensity Transformations category. This tool offers an alternate method of stretching images. Normally, we stretch images with histogram transformation, but the mid-tones transformation is very aggressive when we use this method, and although it enables us to recover the contrast of the lower contrast structures, it also tends to damage the star profiles. What masked stretch does is apply a histogram adjustment in an iterative manner, gradually increasing the brightness of the image. In each iteration, it uses an inverted lightness mask, so as the brighter areas acquire more brightness, they are protected more and more. Let's compare the two methods. To do this, we need to create two copies of the image. We'll call the first one histograms and the second one masked underscore stretch. To apply the histogram transformation, we simply copy the STF settings over to the histogram window and press apply. Now we disable the STF. Now the image doesn't have the STF stretch, it has been delinearized. If we look at the histogram, we can see that the background values are around 0.17 to 0.20. We can confirm this by analyzing this area, which is the darkest one in the image. This value is the one we're going to use in masked stretch to get a similar processing outcome. We're going to use 0.18. And masked stretch needs an area for the background reference. We're going to apply a stretch with 100 iterations. Let's disable the STF, and here's the result. The results we get with masked stretch are unpredictable because even though we've given the tool a sky background level, we can't preview the result as we go along as we can with histogram transformation. We will probably always need a curves adjustment. In this case, the sky background is very light, so we're going to lower it. With Curves Transformation, we have a real-time preview, and we can make the adjustments we need. Now, let's compare the two results using PixelMath. We type in the identifier of the image we want to superimpose, and press Apply. As you can see, the stars are much more saturated in the image with a histogram adjustment, and with masked stretch, the stars have a softer profile. The drawback is that this dynamic range compression is so efficient that it isolates the saturated areas of the brightest stars. So, masked stretch is very good for preserving the star profiles, but it's not ideal for stars that are already saturated. With histograms, we also get more contrast in the subtle details of the nebula. On the other hand, the dynamic range compression with masked stretch has increased the color saturation. So this tool is very good for preserving the shapes of the stars and is also useful for generating a second version of the stretched image. For the best possible results, we can use a star mask and combine the image with the one we stretched with histograms to create an image with the best of both tools. Mm -hmm.